DMR IDs, what are they and how can you get one? That's the topic for this video in my new series called DMR Explained. Welcome to a Radio Antics video. My name is Hamza, 2 Echo Zero Hotel X-Ray Sierra. Today I'll be explaining what a DMR ID is and how to register for one if you live in the UK, Europe or Africa. You need to register for a DMR ID in order to access DMR networks such as Brandmeister and TGIF. A DMR ID is a unique number assigned to every call sign. When you register for a DMR ID, you must provide details like your name and location. You can think of a DMR ID like a mobile phone number, and a database like the yellow pages. Your DMR ID is passed along your voice data whenever you transmit with your radio. When someone receives your transmission, your DMR ID will show up on their radio, and vice versa. Some radios allow you to upload the database of DMR IDs to them. This will allow the radio to cross-reference your ID with other information such as your name, call sign, and QTH whenever you transmit. And likewise, whenever someone else transmits, uh, you'll be able to see their name, call sign, and QTH. Some radios, which don't have this functionality, can be upgraded, such as the TYT MD380 radio, uh, which I have, and I flashed uh, MD380 tools onto the radio, which allows me the extra functionality. I'll make another video about how to do this um, further down hotspots such as the open spot or Pi style based hotspots also regularly download the latest version of the DMR ID database. If your hotspot dashboard is open when you're using the radio, you'll be able to see the call sign of the person who is talking rather than their DMR ID number, and often you can click their call sign which will open their QRZ page. I know that's the case with Pi Star. I haven't actually used open spot myself. You're also able to directly dial and have a one-to-one -one private call with someone uh, by typing in their DMR ID or uh, programming your radio with a, their DMR ID uh, as a private call. And note that these calls aren't actually private and uh, I mean even though it's one-to-one -one, people can still listen in if they want to so don't talk about anything sensitive or uh, you know you don't want the whole world to know about. In the future I'll be making a uh, series of videos uh, called DMR Explained um, talking about you know what is DMR, how to get started with it, how to program your radio, what's a code plug, etc., etc. So uh, if you're interested, um, yeah, please consider subscribing. Um, right, without any further ado, let me show you how to uh, register for a DMR ID. So this is the web page uh, to register for a DMR ID if you're living in uh, the UK, Europe, or Africa. Um, the website is register.ham-digital.org. Uh, like always, all the links will be in the description. If you're in the US, um, it's a different link. Um, it's a website called Radio ID, and I'll quickly talk about that at the end of the video. However, I can't show you the full process because it won't let me register for an account because uh, I'm in the UK, not the US. So this is the website um, if you're in Europe, Africa, or the UK. Uh, you want to click the top box which is register services for an individual call sign. Now I already have one so when I put my call sign in and click OK it will come up uh, with my information already. Uh, let me quickly go over what some of this means. The DMR ID user, you can see it gives you a series of numbers here. So for the UK, uh, DMR IDs start with a number 23 and also talk groups uh, in the UK, uh, well on Brandmeister anyway, start with 23 and then something something something. Uh, my local admin contact, uh, so this is the um, administrator for the United Kingdom. If you have any problems with your DMR ID, uh, you can email uh, this guy over here. And for each country, it's different. Because I already have an ID, it shows my call sign, my country, my name, and my ID number already. Um, but uh, let me go back. Let me just quickly put another country's call sign in. So I'll just put uh, Echo 77 Charlie Alpha. Um, I think that's uh, Bosnia, so uh, if you put Bosnia in it will show you the prefix, uh, their series of DMR ID, so it starts with 218, uh, and this is the local admin contact. Anyway, pop your DMR ID in, uh, for the demonstration I'm just going to put a 2E0 uh, uh, ABC, hopefully that's not taken, okay it's not. So uh, to request a DMR ID uh, just click OK. It will give you a, a brief overview about the data usage uh, and I mean you can read it in your own time but what it shows you is that um, this is the information that they collect. So your call sign, DMR ID, name, surname, uh, visual name is what you want to come up on the radios. Uh, 
Uh, your email is uh, only if you need to get in contact with them. Uh, license document uh, last heard um, shows up on um, various dashboards uh, like the Brandmeister last heard website. I'll quickly go to that at the end of the video too. So anyway, once you once you've read this, uh, click accept. Right, so I've briefly filled out this form just with test information, uh, and then it will ask you to upload a copy of your license document. Um, you can download your license document, or you can scan a copy of your uh, the paper copy. Uh, so you go choose file and upload that. And once you've done that, you click OK. I'm not going to submit this form because well, it's clearly fake data, and I don't want to waste their time. So. Um, yeah, it's pretty much simple as that. Uh, the admin will then get back to you um, within a few days usually. I think mine took two days. Um, and there you go, you have your own DMR ID. I'm going to make another video about how to program a DMR radio. I've got the TYT MD380 as I mentioned earlier. Uh, I believe the process is similar for all uh, DMR radios. Uh, so I'll quickly, I'll, in that video I'll quickly go over what a code plug is, uh, what a zone is, what a channel is. Uh, and how to set up a radio. This is the Radio ID website uh, if you're in uh, America. So it's radioid.net slash register. Once you've read it, click I agree, if you agree. If you don't agree, then you can't have a DMR ID. Um, type in your call sign, your email, uh, your password, and your country. So if I put my call sign in, um, it'll say that I'm in the UK, so uh, it'll tell me to go away basically. So I can't really show you the rest of that. I believe it's a fairly straightforward process. Once you click create account, it will send an email to you to uh, verify your email address. And you go over to the sign in page. Uh, you type in your call sign, email and password. And from there you should be able to manage uh, your DMR ID information. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, 7-3 and have a nice rest of your day.